Okay, so hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the negation of a statement. So it's basically the negation of a statement is usually a tricky thing. I mean, in normal conversation, we usually, for example, we say that it, it, for example, we, so, so basically we want to talk about the negation of a statement, of a statement, okay? So in normal conversation, what we do, basically, we say that, for example, it rained It rained yesterday, okay? And let's suppose that, for example, enough context has been given to me and this is not an ambiguous uh, statement and it is a, it is a valid statement, okay? And it's a, and, and let's say that it's actually a true statement. So now what happens if that if you want to negate this statement, so then basically in, uh, for the sake of simplicity, we denote this, we can denote this, this statement by, for example, P. We say that, the, that we say that this statement P is it rained yesterday. And now the negation of this statement is going to be not P. So that's, that's going to be the, the notation that you use here, not P. And in normal conversation, we say that, for example, it, did not, it did not rain yesterday. Okay, so now in such situations, of course, this is a valid, um, this is a valid negation of this statement, meaning that this statement said, tells, it rained yesterday, this, 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 not P, and that was P, and not be telling me it did not rain yesterday, so this is a valid negation of this statement. But there are some uh, there are some uh, statements that are a little bit tricky. And for example, one of those statements is, for example, let's say that you have some statement like Q, and Q is all teachers are female. All teachers are female. Okay. Now, if you were to do the same thing over here, if you would, if you, if you were to do the same thing over here, write not Q as all teachers, for example, as all teachers, for example, are not female. Then, then this becomes simply a, uh, this becomes a, a some sort of a, a ambiguous statement. It, it basically tends to confuse people. And, uh, um, you can basically, you can basically uh, and but but first before we before we move to the to this to this statement so, so let me actually let me tell you something about these statements so for example over here about this statement that it says that it rained yesterday before we before you before you move to the to this stage i mean if your your statement is a is a complicated statement uh usually you cannot usually you cannot do it in one in one step so basically the negation of p the negation of p would be basically it is false meaning that meaning that um, the negation of the of the of basically this this uh, statement p actually negates the assertion negates the assertion that basically statement p mix so this is important so let me write it down not p negates or basically the negation of basically the negation of 
the negation of P negates negates the assertion negates the assertion that that P makes so since P is a statement it makes some sort of assertion not P which is the negation of P what it does it negates the assertion that P makes okay so what that means is that if if I were to write the the negation of P, the negation of P would be, it is false. It is false that, that, for example, and then, then the statement that it rained yesterday. That it rained yesterday. Okay, so that's, that's, that's basically that. And then, if you want to basically write it in a in a, in 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 a more basically write it in a more um, in a in a more suitable way, you can write not p is it did not it did not rain yesterday. It did not rain yesterday. Okay, so that's basically that. Now, um, so basically, so so again, this is you you read this of course as P, meaning that it's a statement P, and this is read at as as not not P. That's basically read as not P. Okay. Now, now the as you saw over here, I could actually insert a, a not. I could actually insert a not into this statement and negate it, and we I, and I had no problem there. But usually, what happens is that there are some there are some statements. There are actually many such cases where you have these statements, and these statements start with start with all or some now these two cases are actually very tricky and you could actually you would actually make mistakes there if you're not careful about the meaning of the statement so now let me give you an example about that so as an example consider for example let me So consider, for example, this example over here. All teachers are female, for example. All teachers, all teachers are female. Okay. So when you say all teachers are female, if I if I denote this by P, for example, not P, would simply be this false. It is false that that all teachers are female. That all teachers are female. And that would be a that would be a, a, a valid negation of this statement. This would be P, this would be not P, meaning the negation of P. Now, if I were to, if I were to basically, um, in, like in the, as, as in, as, as in the, as in the example of, of the previous case, if I were to insert a not over here, I, uh, then I would have to say all teachers are not female, for example. All teachers are not female. And this, first of all, makes no sense. I mean, there is, there is, there is no. I mean, 
you would simply not use this this kind of statement and second of all it would be an ambiguous statement it could have many different meanings so so basically in short you cannot just simply use a not over here when you have um, when your statement starts with a with the word r now the negation of this statement is actually is actually a little bit different meaning that we have to say um, there are some teachers there are some teachers okay there are some teachers and you can you can also add at least one at least one so here you're saying all teachers are female here you're saying there are some teachers at least one uh, who are male okay who are male um, now if if I if uh, now if uh, if I basic now, if I were to, if I if I had basically inserted a simply and not in this statement, this would have become, this would have become either all teachers are not female. All teachers are not female. Or or you could say not all teachers are female not all teachers are female okay so so all teachers are not female it just simply confuses people it just simply confuses people and the second basically the second uh, statement here what that means is that um, so basically it could imply so now let us see what happens if we simply insert and not we obtain these statements all teachers are not female or we or we can obtain the statement not all teachers are female okay now the first statement can confuse people as I have indicated here it could it, it could imply uh, if we lay emphasis on the word all that all teachers are male okay this is certainly not, not the negation of not the negation of the, the statement we started with. However, the second statement that that says not all teachers are female gives the meaning of um, gives the meaning of basically the meaning of the negation of p here that there is that there is at least one teacher. Not all teachers are female. That means there is at least one teacher who is a male or who is male. Who is not a female or who is a male? So, so you need to be careful with this, with these kinds of statements. Of course, there is. We have a couple of examples here that I will that we will do together, so that we basically know better how to deal with these kinds of statements. So now, if you want to now, now you you basically since basically we have this kind of kind of I don't know you you could call it this kind of mess here and there is there is you there is simply most of sometimes not not a not an easy way to decide whether you have negated a statement right or wrong so now in order to basically have a have a standard basically against which you can check whether you have done the negation right or wrong um, that's basically the, the rule that you that you can follow is that basically if you have a statement p for example and its negation would be not p um, 
then of course not p has to be false whenever p is true and not p has to be true whenever p is false so let's let's say that let's say that you have some let's say that let, let's say that let let p okay let p be a statement let p be a statement and not p and not p be its negation its negation okay now then then basically then then not p the negation of p is false is false whenever p is true whenever p is true and not p is true whenever p is false okay so that's basically that's basically how you can check whether you have whether you have uh, done the negation right or wrong So, for example, um, let's say let's 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 have let's have another example. So, for example, if you have a this, the, a statement, for example, let's call it R, and the statement it is Mike's dog has a black tail. Mike's dog. Has a black tail. Okay. So the negation of that, not R, would be, uh, sorry, would be, it is false, it is false that Mike Stock, Mike Stock has a like t okay now um now if 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 now the, now if you rewrite this 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 uh, statement you can write it as not r is equal to mike stock Mike's dog and here you can simply use a not so does not have does not have a black tail okay so now this statement over here is the negation of the statement that we started with so Mike's dog has a black tail and Mike's dog does not have a black tail so these basically you can say that r uh, not r is the negation of r you, or you could say that you could say that uh, r is the negation of not r both 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 you could you could say both you could say that r is the negation is the negation of not r and you can also say not r is the negation of is the negation of r both are correct okay so now uh, uh, in order to check whether you have done this right so now if if r is um, basically if r is true meaning that if mike stock has a black um, if mike stock has a black uh, black tail then not r has to be false meaning that when you say mike stock does not have a black tail of course it is false that means that you have done the negation right or if if basically if basically if if not r is true meaning that if mike mike stock does not have a black tail is true 
then the other one has to be false meaning that Mike Sock has a black tail of course becomes false if this is true so then that basically means that you have that you have done the negation right Or, for example, when it comes to numbers, you can write, for example, if you have some statement S, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, okay, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and the negation would be not S, 2 plus 2 is not equal to 4, okay. Now, we have a couple of examples over here. We will go through these examples and see what we have. Let's see what we have over here. So, so for example, as, as the, the first one is Mike Stock does not have a black tape and Mike's dog does not have a black tail. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> so basically now if your if your statement is Mike's dog does not have a black tail the negation of this this statement would be Mike Stock, or let me let me show you this way. So it, it you should actually the, the negation would be it is false that uh, Mike Stock that Mike Stock does not have does not have have a black tail okay and it is false that that Mike's dog does not have a black tail that means that Mike's Mike's dog has a black tail Mike's dog Mike's dog has a black tail Okay, so now if I take this for example as P and then take this naturally as not P. Now if, if, if you want to know if you have done this, this, this negation right, so if P is true, so if P is true, then basically not P has to be false and vice versa so what that means is that now if P is true not P has to be false meaning that if Mike's dog does not have a black tail if this is true then this has to be false meaning that Meaning that, meaning that if I take this as true, if I take this statement as true, then this statement has to be false. Now, Mike's dog does not have a black tail. If that's true, then if I say Mike's dog has a black tail, of course, that would be, it would be false, right? So that means that, the, that, that means that I have done the, the negation right. Or if not B is true, um, if not P is true, then, then P has to be false. Mm. Meaning that if Mike's dog has a black tail is true, then Mike's dog does not have a black tail would be false, meaning that you have done the negation right. Now, let's make it a little bit more complicated. For, for example, let's say that you have a statement P and it says all rational numbers all rational numbers are all rational numbers are real numbers
So of course you know that uh, the categorization of of numbers is basically um, basically rational numbers and irrational numbers together. You have the set of basically uh, rational numbers, which is Q, and the set of irrational numbers, let's call that, for example, Q prime. If you put that together, that makes the set, the set of, the set of real numbers. Real numbers, which is basically denoted by R. Okay. So now what this, what this is saying is that, um, and you know that basically rational numbers, the rational numbers basically contain all the natural numbers and all the whole numbers and all the, um, whole numbers and integers and of course the rational numbers themselves. So, so when you say that all rational numbers are real numbers, um, when you say that all rational numbers are real numbers, then of course the statement itself is of course not true because, because there are, uh, because there are some real numbers that are not, that are irrational numbers. But, but anyway, we, he, right now we are not concerned about the about the truth of this of this statement we just want to we just want to negate it otherwise it just doesn't matter whether the statement is true or not okay so we we, we actually we, we're not concerned about the 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 truth of this statement at all we just want to negate it okay so now the the basically the negation of this statement which is not P, would be basically it is false. It is false that that all rational numbers that all rational that all rational numbers that all rational numbers are are real numbers. Okay, it is false that all rational numbers are real numbers. Now, here I could again, for example, in, uh, insert a not into into this statement and write it and as for example, all rational numbers are not real numbers. Which or 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 I could say not all rational numbers are real numbers. Now, if I if I use the first one, meaning that if I said all rational numbers are all rational numbers are not real numbers, that statement would be would be an ambiguous statement. It would not ambiguous in the sense of mathematical ambiguous, but ambiguous in the sense that it would confuse people. But if you say not all rational numbers are are real numbers, if you say not all rational numbers, not all rational numbers are, are real numbers. What that means is that there are some rational numbers that are not real numbers, or uh, there are, there are some real numbers I'm sorry, there are some rational numbers, there are some rational numbers at least one, at least one that are, that are not real numbers. And again, I need to emphasize here that I need to emphasize that so both of these statements would be would be correct. Uh, again, he, again here I need to emphasize the fact that 
um, uh, basically uh, we, we, we are not concerned about the, the truth of this statement otherwise this statement that you see over here is actually not true in I mean in in in, in math I mean mathematically it's not true the but of course the then but then since this is this is not true of course then the the negation of that becomes mathematically true but we are not concerned about that right now so um, And, and there is another way to, 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 to state this state, to, to say this statement. It said, basically, it's, it's written here, it's false that all irrational numbers. Oh, it's, 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 oh, it's, 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 it's about, it, that doesn't matter. They have written it in a different way. Anyway, that's, that, that's basically the same thing. Now, for example, let's, as another example, if you say square root of 2 as some statement, simple statement, if you say square root of 2 is irrational. Okay, the square root of 2 is irrational. So if the square root of 2 is irrational, if you say that, then basically the negation of that, not P, would be it is false that uh, square root of 2 is irrational. Okay? And then, then of course, the, another way to say the same thing is that, is that square root of 2 is not irrational. Okay, so that's basically how you would say this. Or another example, some rational numbers are integers, for example. I call it, I call it statement Q. Some, ira some rational numbers are integers. Some rational numbers, some rational numbers are integers. So if you want to negate this statement, not Q would be equal to it is false, it is false that some rational numbers are integers. And again this when 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 you're dealing with the word sum here it, it's again gets a little bit tricky. Okay? So you need to be careful here. Now you, when you want to uh, restate this this second statement over here that's that says it is false that some rational numbers are integers um then 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 uh, then 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 you 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 need to say that i think it becomes no rational numbers is an integer so then that that becomes no rational number no rational number is an integer. Okay, so you need to be you need to be careful about that. When you say some rational numbers, when you say some rational numbers are integers, the negation of that becomes no rational numbers is an integer. So you need to be careful about this one. Or the the next one these are these are these are some tricky ones that I have chosen from here. So, for example, um, not all teachers are male. 
if, it, if P is not all teachers are are male okay so the negation of that would be it is false that not all teachers are male and then to say that another way uh, you would say all teachers are male I suppose you would say all teachers are male okay so again you need to be careful here or some horses are not brown if you have statement Q if you have some horses are not brown some horses are not brown then the negation of that not Q would be would be basically you you, you of course you, you know that you should say it's false that some horses are not brown and um, and then basically in, in such cases where you have the word some uh, basically when, when it comes to such sense, sentence, sentences if you have the word some you have to do something about about the word some if you have the word some or if you have the word are you have to do something about these about these two words individually and also you need to negate the the, the statement itself okay so um so then let me let me do this step by step so you so you can see how this actually goes so what how you do this kind of thing is that basically you say that it is false it is false that that some horses are not brown are not brown okay and then when you have when you have some when you have some basically in negation your sum becomes all your sum becomes out so, so that's not q sum becomes all all horses uh, and and then you have to negate this one so you have to put a not actually over here so you you write this as are not and another not as well because you had already a not brown so you can cancel these two out together and not q becomes all horses are brown so the original statements was was basically some horses are not are not brown and uh, and the, and the negation of that becomes all horses are brown okay so that's that's the right way of negating this statement or let's say that you have um, let's say that you have there is no real number x there is no real number x such that x squared is equal to negative 1 such that x squared is equal to negative 1 okay you want to let's say that this is for example p so not p is it is false that there is no such there is no real number x such that x squared is equal to negative 1 and then if you want to if you want to rewrite that in a, in a better way that would be there is there is at least there are some real numbers at least one um, at 
So I would say there is at least um, there is at least one real number x. There is at least one real number x. such that x squared is equal to negative 1 okay so um, so then basically based on what you, what you saw here of course there is some there are some other examples such some some related examples like these that we are going to do here as well again but um, um, but the way that okay so let me let's let me choose a couple of these examples as well and then we will do these as well Okay, so now we have a couple more examples here, and it's actually necessary to do them. Otherwise, you would not really understand these, because these are these cases where you have some or all. It can be, it can get a little bit tricky. Okay. So now let's say that you have, for example, this this one is easy. So for example, you have man. Man is mortal man is mortal and the negation would be man is not mortal okay so that is easy or you say for example line s l is parallel to line m line l is parallel to line m line l is parallel to line m and then the negation would be line l is not parallel to parallel to line m or this chapter has many exercises for example this one is a little bit this chapter has many exercises okay um, when you have many you have to say has as you, you cannot say does not have many exercises that does that wouldn't work so you would say, well, okay, you could say this chapter does not have, does not have many exercises. Okay, fair enough. Or if you have all integers are rational numbers, if you have all integers are rational numbers, all integers are rational numbers. So you want you want to negate that the, the negation of this would be it's false that all integers are rational numbers, and then. You, you then, and then you have to restate that as there are some at least one integer that is that is uh, that is not a rational number so that it would be there are some at least one at least one integer that is not that is not a rational number 
Okay, so a rational number. So here all has become sum and then of course you had to you had to use a not as well. So you need to be careful about that. Number four, not all integers are rational numbers. Or you could actually write it this way as well, meaning that you can instead of changing this one and then adding a not over here, you can simply add the not before all and say not all integers, not all integers are rational numbers. Are rational numbers. That, that you can do as well. Both are correct. As another example, some prime numbers are odd. Some, some prime numbers are odd. Um, so over here, what you can do So you have to basically negate sum and also negate this sentence as well. So then, uh, so then this sum becomes all, I suppose, all prime numbers are, are, are not odd. I suppose that's basically how you do it. All prime numbers are not odd. That that's that's the right way of doing it. Okay. And so for example, let's say let's go for another one. Let's say that you have, for example, no student is lazy. No student is lazy okay no student is lazy no you have to use you have to use uh, you have to negate this one and also to negate the sentence as well so for for the sentence you, you use a not and for this you would you would say some students Some students are not lazy. Some students are not lazy. Some students oh, are lazy. Okay. I think I made a mistake here. I'm sorry. Are so when you say no student is lazy, some students are lazy. Okay. Makes sense, right? Okay, sorry. And when you say, for example, some cats are not black, some cats are not black. Some cats are not black. Then the negation of that would be no cats are black. Some cats are not black. No cats are are are. I see all cats are black. Sorry. So here basically your sum becomes all and then um, and then you have to, to negate the sentence itself as well. So you add a not over here and then the two knots will cancel out and then you'll 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 end with you'll end up with all cats are 
a black okay so that's how it works um, we have a couple more of these so now that let's let's do this as well because um, I mean it's you cannot get you can you can never get enough of these exercises really so let's let's do a couple more of these I just I, I, I do the, the important ones so let's say that for example you have a sentence all elephants all elephants are huge so the the, the negation would be um, the negation would be old would be no no elephants uh, no elephants no elephants are huge i suppose so that would be number two number two i think this is no elephants no elephants are huge all elephants are huge no elephants are huge that makes sense to me but still I'm not I'm not really I, I don't have the right answer I don't have the key for this so uh, it does make sense to me but I could be wrong I don't really know so now the, the, the next one is for example let's say you have no man is a cow no man is a cow so so no becomes a sum some men are cows are are cows basically some men are cows or if you have for example some cats are black some cats are black no cats are black so here becomes some becomes some becomes all cats are black right some cats are not black all cats are black so i suppose this would be all cats are not black if this is so your sum becomes I, I suppose this becomes all cats are not black i think this way i think this way it is right but again i don't have the key for this i could be wrong here most probably i'm right here but i i don't know so all fire engines are red for example all fire engines are red uh, no fire engines are red no fire engines are red and again i repeat for it for this last part I didn't really, I, I didn't really have the, the key starting from, for, starting from all elephants, meaning that this one, this one, this one, these four exercises, I'm not, um, I'm, well, 90, 95% sure about the answer. Otherwise, I, again, I didn't have the key, so I might be wrong about these few. Now, in the, next video we are going to talk about the converse of a statement so i'll see you in the next video